What's going on, Call of Duty refugees and toxic gamers? How we doing today, man? We're gonna be catching up on some Call of Duty hate videos. Now, to be honest, though, we're gonna be checking out the homie Nero Shenma. He's quite balanced, but today he exploded. Now, think about this for a second, right? If the homie Nero exploded today based off of what happened, you're gonna you guys gonna find out. You're gonna get it. No diddy though, you're gonna get it. But think about this for a second. If the homie Nero exploded, what about the homie? Well, you know, B blame truth, guys. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you don't want skill-based matchmaking. No manipulation like that. Dislike if you love cheaters. Skill-based matchmaking, skill-based damage, EOMM and all that kind of bull squash. Shout out to the homie Nero. Wait for it, roll it. Black Ops 6. I'm not usually one for conspiracy theories. Usually we talk about skill-based matchmaking, but there's no theory there. It just yeah. it affects every aspect of the Call of Duty multiplayer yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah. Other things, however, I don't usually put too much stock into them, but looking at the new event that came out, I think it's safe to say that the community challenge, if you want to call it that, is all one elaborate hoax designed mm. to further push things in the shop, which mm. might sound a little bit crazy, but we are talking about Activision here. So yeah. if we look yeah, at the yeah. event itself, it's slowly going up over time and I was curious because in previous Call of Duty titles we would have situations where it didn't really look like we were going to finish the community challenge on time but then of course inevitably no matter what I think they can mess with the numbers they can always make sure that we do finish it on time so I did yeah, the math on, on this right you take the amount of skulls that we have earned as a community so far and divide it by five because it's been five days since the event went live okay. we get three billion five hundred and seventy seven million one hundred and forty one thousand six hundred and thirty three that is how many of these skulls we as a community are actually averaging per day well the event is okay. weird it says that we only have eight days left which would imply the event damn so many skulls the homie blame truth just need one of them you know like he got the helmet and he good man the homie blame truth yo I, the homie blame truth is gonna explode after uh what what just happened and this is just like the little piece here that you're getting you're gonna get more you're gonna get more wait for it guys you're gonna get more no diddy you're gonna get more you're gonna pause you're gonna get more is only going to be 13 days long but why would they have an event for 13 days as compared to the round even 14 days but regardless if we take our daily average if it's Ooh. only a 13 day long event we are going to just miss unlocking the siren 9 millimeter at the very end for 50 billion of these skulls but if it's a 14 day event we just barely barely by the skin of our teeth unlock the siren 9 millimeter which goes to that conspiracy theory that says that this is all just predetermined essentially mm. they're just going to add whatever number of kills they want to the event per day until eventually we go through the entire 14 days of the event with us getting that final reward at the end because every so they're trying to extend it as much as possible and trying to like i'm assuming you can actually buy the skin because otherwise there's no reason for that right so there's a gun in the game right from what i'm getting at and it's a community challenge which is a good thing right community challenge is good right but apparently it's all like predetermined they're they're faking it predetermined and towards the end of it you're gonna get it regardless right which is yeah like it, it's a good thing at least you're gonna get it but they're extending the period i'm assuming i'm assuming you can buy the gun because otherwise it won't make sense because their, their goal is to sell you the gun not necessarily unlock it by completing challenges their goal is to make as much money as possible right sell it for 25 bucks 30 bucks right Every single time you open up the event, they force it down your throats almost. They zoom in on the Siren 9 millimeter. They show the community challenge, even though most of the time you just want to check out how much you have for your own personal challenges. I think this is all just predetermined. I don't think that we're actually impacting this community challenge whatsoever. It's there to give off the illusion that we as a community are going through this event. But yeah. in reality, they're slowly just strip feeding. The it's a participation trophy, right? Everybody get a participation ribbon. It's uh, one of those things, right? Yeah, like holy man <laughs> it's crazy i i don't know what i'm not listen i'm hearing the news i'm not super mad but i'm it's like you know I, I'm, I'm at a point where i'm like bruh activision if this will if activision don't scam us that would be a scam you feel what i'm saying so it's like if they don't scam us that would be a scam so it's kind of like weird right like i'm kind of used to it at this point it's like like bruh, bruh. Now, I'm not saying that it's good to do it, but I'm not mad at what they're trying to do here. Like, they're just doing a community challenge, but it's, like, predetermined. You're gonna get it regardless. Like, they're gonna give it to you. No diddy once again. They're gonna give it to you, okay? Regardless. But there's a catch. There's gotta be a catch, and there is a catch. I actually saw, like, a little bit off it, right? So I have, like, the general idea on what's coming and what's happening right now. Saw the news. The homie Blame Tooth, he's gonna explode. I feel like that the homie Nero is quite gentle with it. He's just, like, covering the news. It's quite balanced, right? Quite balanced, but the homie Nero is gonna... Uh, I mean, 
Blame blame Truth. BT, he's gonna explode. He's the new perks explode. and the new score streak, and then eventually the Seer 9mm over the course of two weeks. This is made even worse when you look Event, but in reality, they're slowly just drip feeding the new perks and the new score streak, and then eventually the Seer 9mm over the course of two weeks. This is made even worse when you look at it like this because today they dropped a new bundle where oh. you can just unlock the new weapon right away for the low, low price of $28, which of course would be lower if you buy certain COD point bundles. But still, we're almost halfway there through the go. event. It doesn't look like we're. Made sen makes sense though. Makes sense. So this is a weapon, right? This is a weapon. Either wait like 14 days or some 13 days, something like that, and you can get it. And they're giving you the illusion that, hey, you're not going to be able to finish the community challenge. Oh my God. Oh my God. Buy it right now. Otherwise, it's gone permanently. That, man, that's like, ins it, it's, they're trying to get the kids with that. Now, if you're obviously watching the YouTube videos, you're in the know, you're, you're a grown-up adult, you know, like, the bullshit that's going on. You're not going to fall for it. I mean, some of you are probably going to fall for it. But once you fall for it once or twice, then you're probably gonna learn. So I'm not gonna call you like anything. It, it happens, right? You learn from your mistakes. It happens with all of us. But it's like, if you're watching these videos, you can prevent yourself from making these mistakes. You're gonna get it regardless. But they're like having, they're giving you the illusion that it's a community challenge, but it's like predetermined. And it's they're giving you the illusion that you might not get it. Maybe the community is not gonna be able to get all those uh, headshot kills. And in, in the end, maybe the community challenge is not gonna be completed and uh, by the time this weapon that is available in the store for 28 i said 20 or 20 i said 25 right 25 or 30 yeah 28 dollars like bumble cloud right there it's crazy man sheesh man it does look good it does look good though i'm not questioning that but yes 20 28 dollars come on now man a and listen man god bless i'm in a very good place i'm sure like you guys can also afford it you guys are also in a good place too but but it's like $28 for a full price game that, you know what I mean? Like, man, microtransactions have gotten insanely bad. I'm talking in general here, all right? Not like specifically targeting Call of Duty here, but in general, it's getting really, really bad. Generally speaking, people are cool with microtransactions with like free to play games because I get it, the game is free, so you're not losing. And ultimately, we, I guess we collectively, maybe you disagree. And if you disagree, that's cool though. Let me know in the comments. But generally speaking, if the game is free, they need to make the money right in return for the time spent uh, for on the servers. I get that. I guess generally people understand that, so you need some sort of microtransactions. But $30 skins, $40, $20, what are we talking about here, man? And Call of Duty, of course, it's a $70 fully priced game. I mean, for crying out loud, <laughs> like my name was Nero Shenema. Love the homie, though. No, Diddy. Uh, I'll, I'll. You need to, more often than not, you need to spend $100 to get the battle pass and the game going for yourself, right? To be up to... Uh, up to mark essentially it's insane man and we're getting like these skins like mostly bi-weekly it feels like i'm not even sure like how much the frequency is very high though that uh, that i know we're going to get it on time or if we do it's going to be on the very final day of the event and now there's about a week between now and when we're scheduled essentially to get the new Sierra nine millimeter they're like hey you know that mm. gun that you really want but the community is taking too long to get for you how you about you now? just buy it you can now just yes, jump sir. right into the shop and get it and it just it's so frustrating man it's like clear obvious manipulation at least to me now i could be wrong maybe tomorrow for like no reason whatsoever there's going to skyrocket the amount of skulls and everything because there will be a double xp event we'll be talking about that here in a moment Moment, but the weekend didn't help when I first looked at this towards the beginning of the weekend It looked like we were gonna come up short when it came to the community challenge But then we kind of thought to ourselves well, maybe we're gonna get a big boost during the weekend But no, we're still getting virtually the exact same amount of these skulls every single day Regardless if it's a Tuesday or if it's a Saturday night You know, it doesn't really seem to matter because I think the entire thing is predetermined as a way to push people to want to purchase a Sierra 9 millimeter out of the shop as compared to waiting for the end of the event It's also again just a <laughs> freaking annoying that when you open up the event tab it forces you to just sit there and stare at the Sierra 9 millimeter most of the time we just want to check our own personal progress yeah. so we can finish that up before the end of the event because that's not they, they want to flash you with it no diddy once again but they want to pause they want to flash you right literally I, I'm, I'm wondering if they did that with the friendly bbc bundle or not you know the, the friendly bbc and bone B I, i'm not sure if they like flash the bbc bundle or not i don't think they did though I mean, they flashed it, but I don't think they flashed it with this weapon. They're just like, 
Man, Activision's going. Activision is gonna be Activision. Let Let's be real. This This is truly wild. This is truly wild. It, they're giving you the illusion that you might not be able to finish the community challenge, but at the same time, at the same time, they're like, maybe on the final day you guys are gonna be able to finish it. And if you finish it, we're gonna give you the supreme, ultra, you know, beautiful weapon skin here. Or you can just buy it for twenty eight dollars. Crazy man! Holy crap, brother! Holy crap! This is this is crazy. Blame Truth is gonna explode. He's gonna explode, hundred percent. Guaranteed and predetermined. Guaranteed. We still have to actually go out there and do it. And when you get one thousand skulls, you get the power drill melee weapon. Here's going to be some private match gameplay of that because I'll be perfectly honest, guys. I have zero interest in grinding up another melee weapon after. Ah, 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 whoa! Oh, shit. Did you buy it? Did you buy it? You bought it! You bought it, brother! Did you buy? It? What happened? He bought it? He bought it? Ah! <gasps> say psych! Say psych! Uh, say, say psych, Nero! Say psych, man! I guess he's gonna, like, tax right off, but, like, still, that <laughs> that's crazy, bro. You're having gotten dark matter. Like, the animation for it's cool. I might mess around with it in Jeez. zombies if I do end up getting, like, the nebula camo in zombies, then maybe I'll rock that camo on the power drill. But for multiplayer, I just, I don't want to run around with this. So I gave you guys some private match footage here. But, yeah, okay. that's my conspiracy theory right now. I'm just, I'm completely convinced that that is what is happening right now within Black Ops 6, which is so scummy. It's, like, such clear manipulation. But at the same time, I don't think a lot of fans are really going to pay too much attention to that because... Yeah starting tomorrow on october 27th a real yeah. event is going to be going live as we're real? going to be getting double xp as well as double gobble gums from wednesday all the way until monday it's gonna be like a five day double xp weekend essentially Ooh. and they're also going to be adding prop hunt they're going to be bringing back stakeout 24 oh, 7 and that's more good. importantly hardcore stakeout 24 7 which is like Whee! the go-to place for a lot of the weapons on the dark matter grind so having all that stuff there is gonna be pretty interesting they also dropped a brand new trailer today for the new zombies map that is going to yeah, be coming yeah, out yeah. on december 5th and on top of th that that is crazy I, I gotta give it to them for that uh that we're getting another map fast black ops 4 did the same way but it's just that they never marked it right so that's why it kind of flopped badly and there were some other issues with it too which we're not gonna go on in this video but citadel de Mof, that's like the the new map it's like uh, the french name right the only thing that i'm noticing is that it's like another like daytime or like early dawn or sunset kind of time yeah, I wish it was just a nighttime map. Like, I, I want more nighttime maps. Like the video if you agree with that. But nonetheless, it might actually be good. So let's let's find out that to kind of wrap up the little news video here today team rico chat is claiming that they have banned 19,000 players in ranked play since the mode launched yet it's i think i think track is doing all this activision is doing all this because you just call it rico chat instead of ricochet i feel like that the day he called it ricochet call of duty is gonna magically track is magically gonna fix uh black ops 6 Bruh. still completely infested and this brings up the point that if this can happen in a paid game like black ops 6 like there's this many hackers and the anti-cheat is just not able to handle yeah. that amount of hackers what about free what's gonna happen when warzone ranked comes out for crying out loud it's a mm. free game and it's clear that the hacking situation is so far beyond i think it's joe over crying out loudly I think it's Joel or what Team Rico Chet is able to handle already. So imagine what it's going to be like when Warzone ranked comes out, not to mention normal public matches. Like if ranked play is that bad and it's so noticeable there, what's going on in public matches, man? The Run amount of people you. that are probably hacking or at least like soft cheating in your games, like having a bit of sticky aim and stuff. The way he put the sig on that. Damn, homie. No duty like that like the people that are clearly like hacking and shooting through walls and have aimbot and all that like that's one thing but what about the people out there who are just using different devices and whatever to give themselves yeah. like a little bit better aim like a little bit yeah. more tight aim assist a little bit better tracking and things like that there's no way the team rico chat here is going to be able to handle those people if they can't ban the people that are clearly and obviously cheating like holy hell facts, man and i have a facts. feeling a lot of this is coming down to the fact that we're around thanksgiving right now i'm betting i'm not sure but i'm betting that probably Thanksgiving and Activision pulls off a biggest heist on the community. <laughs> $28, 20, you suck us out of your goddamn mind. $28, you crazy, you loco, you stupid. What the hell? Probably a lot of people at Activision and Treyarch are taking time off for the holiday. They're traveling, yeah. seeing family and whatnot. So that I am trying to see my family. Family, I'm trying to be strong, trying to be independent, making Activision the money, selling bundle for the $28.
28, 28. No, Diddy. No, Diddy. No, Diddy. I gotta change my voice there. A hacking situation, if it is going to be fixed, it's not gonna be fixed until like next week or the week after that because chances are everybody is off for the holiday right yeah. now, which is why they're just going to be activating double XP and double gobble gums and adding in. And, and then peace out. They're like, okay, here you go, suckers. Double XP while we alley. Okay? Enjoy. It's like, you know, back in the days when you listen to radio, I never really listened to the radio, but it's like. I'm not sure. They probably do the same right now, too, if you listen to the radio, especially in a car. It's like, yeah, we will be right back. Here's the music for you folks. Enjoy. Yay. That, that's kind of like the what, what they're going to do. Yeah, here's double XP. We out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Guys, check out this video on the screen. We have a clip of one of the biggest cheater coming back to the scene. Check out this video on the screen. And we had an insane cheater in Call of Duty coming back. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.